After several years of rising political tensions, World War I erupted in the year 1914. I have to be careful not to make this into a history class, but it's important for us to realize the impact of this war on our topic. First of all, that the war was brewing was quite apparent for all in the Western world. Newspapers, magazines gave a lot of attention to the political and military maneuvering on the European continent. In short, some in the media landscape were actually campaigning for an aggressive stance and seemed to be looking forward to a coming conflict. Perhaps under the misconception that it will be a short and relatively clean skirmish that will restore the preferred balance of power. In reality, populations all over the world were bombarded with patriotic messages and a call to arms. Of course, this wasn't the only content in the media landscape, but several years later, scientists that studied what had happened noticed the two correlating variables. Media that were campaigning for war and patriotism and a motivated patriotic population set for war and many men volunteering to be a soldier in one of the bloodiest wars the continent had ever seen. When the war started, all sides made use of massive propaganda campaigns. That's another important concept from our field, propaganda. It's often referred to as one-sided, biased and unobjective communication. Joet and O'Donnell define propaganda as the deliberate systematic attempt to shape perceptions, manipulate cognitions and direct behavior to achieve a response that furthers the desired intent of the propagandist. The world had in 1914 never seen such a huge push to influence so many at the same time with use of mediated communication. The political and military leaders had perhaps learned their lessons from the ancient Greeks and Romans. They too wielded a sword of communication as if it was just one other weapon in their arsenal, piercing the mind with its persuasive message. Again, scholars who studied events directly after the First World War noticed a correlation between an intensive propaganda attempt and all kinds of effects that were assumed to be the effect of this propaganda. It was seen as a reason why soldiers marched cheerfully into war. Why the home front showed such a uniform support and respect for their military. Why enemy soldiers decided to defect in mass to be imprisoned in military camps for the remainder of the war. The importance of the First World War on communication theory is to put it simple. It created a huge belief in the power of mass communication through the media. We call this the all-powerful media paradigm.